Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom, and I'm here with another Christmas card using our December release. Hey, so I'm using Jaded Blossom's Bah Humbug stamp set along with their brand new Gnome Dyes Winter add-ons, our Gnome Dyes, the Slimline Dyes, and our Reindeer Blend stamp set and outline dyes. And I put a and I went ahead and I put these two together on the um, Gnome Assembly video, so you can check that out. And I'm also using Photo Play's um, Holiday Plaid along with Fancy Pants Timber Grove paper. So I cut out that plaid paper with the um, scalloped rectangle um, from our slimline dies. And I don't worry about the ends because they're going to hang off the card base. Now this is an A2 sized card base cut out of Paper Trank white cardstock. And I have some rippage there, but it doesn't matter. It won't show. And I'm just going to... Um, stick that down and then I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. Now obviously the um, the Fancy Pants Timber Grove, I don't think that that's available anymore but I'm just using it um, for the you know snowflake background. So use any snowflake background, right? Okay and then the um, snowflake background was cut with that rectangle die from the slimline dies and then that which is roughly three inches wide and then I cut a piece of American Crafts brown cardstock one eighth of an inch wider just to give it a little bit of a border and I'm going to pop that down on the front of this card. You'll notice that I kept the stitching intact on the top of that rectangle just so the stitching runs all the way around and you'll see what I do on the bottom. I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors here. Now everything that I used to put together that gnome will be listed on my blog as well. So I went ahead and I cut the bottom of that rectangle out of Paper Trank white cardstock so the stitching goes around the bottom and then the hill part was cut with the hill from the slimline dies. And then I took the um, reindeer blend outline dies and I cut the hole, um, you know, the outline die out of that snow background. And I'm using art glitter glue to stick that down. There you have it. So I'm going to have a little scene on the front of my card and I'll weight that down with an acrylic block. Now I'm going to stamp in that hole. Um, the stamp um, is from that reindeer, reindeer blend stamp set and it says the best kind of mugs are Christmas mugs, which is kind of perfect, right? For this kind of co Cousin Eddie inspired card. And I'm just going to take some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and I will stamp in that opening and it was easy to line that up just because I had the out you know the outline die right cut out of the white now I'm going to add a one inch strip of paper from that same um, pad well first of all I'm adding a one and an eighth inch strip of American Crafts brown cardstock and then I will add the one inch, one inch strip from that same um, fancy pants timber grove pad which is just a stripe that matches the front snow um, the snowy scene there you have it. So easy stuff. And then I'm taking a stamp from that um, Bah Humbug stamp set. Now there is a revamp of this. So you could use the revamp that's available. And then you're just going to stamp in that open area. And that's like a little eggnog sentiment, which of course is perfect for this card. Um, it says, here's to, a, to spiked eggnog and mistletoe kisses, which is kind of fun because that's what he's drinking out of that moose cup, right? So now I'm going to pop my little Eddie gnome on the front of my card base and I'm going to add this little um, moose cup. You'll notice that um, I did add Nouveau crystal drops in white and black to add little eyeballs to the cup just for fun. There you go. And I'm going to pop that up with a Stampin' Up Dimensional and I'll glue down the hands on the little boots. So there you have it. Isn't that cute? Just too cute. And I do weight that down just to make sure it sticks down well. Now I'm pulling out some Doodlebug Sprinkles, the Christmas assortment, but I'm just using the white ones. And I'm going to add five to my card base. So two in the lower right-hand corner and then three in the upper left-hand corner. Just, you know, to add a little something-something. And literally, that is the fastest card in the West. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog. Be inspired. Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you, as always, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And hopefully, you will check out my next one. Bye, everyone.